what is your mission? One of the most important infrastructure in any organization is defining the mission and the vision of an organization. Praise the name of the living God. Ukienda katika makampuni, utakute kwamba they have their mission statement. And then, their mission statement uh, in a in a in a patiana direction. The mission statement gives direction. The vision defines destination. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. And this is very, very important in every organization. At hapa katika ministry, uh, we have our mission, uh, we have our vision. And every time, even when you join a church, it is very, very important to understand what is the mission of this church. What is their vision? Where are they going? What do they desire to achieve? If I put my resources here, what are we going to achieve together? Because uh, a mission is an important assignment given to a person or to a group of people. Praise the name of the living God. So you are, you are, you are, your mission could be personal, but also God uh, gives uh, a mission to a group of people. Praise the name of the living God. Like here in Kingdom Seekers Fellowship, uh, in MBCI, God has brought us together. There is a mission that he has given us. That mission gives us the direction. And then the vision gives us our destination. Where are we going? As we continue to pray, as we continue to give, what do we desire to achieve? Praise the name of the living God. So a mission statement defines the company's business. A mission statement defines the company's business, its objectives, and, uh, and uh, how to reach uh, those objectives. That is a mission. And then the vision statement describes uh, the desired future position of the company. The vision uh, described, uh, describes uh, the desired uh, future uh, position of that company. Praise the name of the living God. Now we have a peer, kibinafsi lazima ujione hivo, that I have my own mission. It defines my business here on earth. Why am I here? It states my objectives. Huh? And this sets my priorities. And my priorities uh, helps me to achieve uh, those objectives. And then through that mission statement, uh, it, it defines uh, my destination. Through that mission, where am I going? Praise the name of the living God. What is my future position as a person? What is our future position as a church? Why am I talking of organizations? Because our God uh, is an entrepreneur. Our God uh, is an investor. And you see, any investor when he comes to invest in a company, he would like to understand what is the mission of this company. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. What vision do you have? There are investors uh, who can invest uh, in an organization not because of the profit, because it's not just about profit, it's not just about money. There are people who invest uh, in an organization because they agree with the mission of that organization. Praise the name of the living God. Maybe the mission of the organization is to provide social justice. Yani unakuta ya kwamba in an organization hata kuna mawakili wanajitolea kupatiana services zao bule. Tuko na organization kama FIDA. Wale wanapigania haki za wamama. Mtu anaweza enda pale ajitolee wakati wake, skill, ajitolee pesa yake, 
sio kwa sababu tu ya pesa atapata mfukoni ni kwa sababu ana agree na the mission ya organization ile so hata wakati tunamwambia bwana ninakuomba nipatie neema yako nipatie nguvu zako nipatie utajiri Mungu anasema what is your mission what do you want to achieve praise the name of the living god god is an investor he is an entrepreneur na anaweza kuangalia your mission na aone your mission is very clear na Mungu aseme I am going to partner with you to accomplish that mission. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Umeshai kusikia Bishop Mwando akisema some some years ago because I think now it's about uh, um, maybe 10 years ago na I, I think it was an ordination service na nikasema Mungu akinipatia milioni moja nitazigawa na zitaisha mara moja kwa sababu tayari ninaona in my mission ha? kuna pengo ambazo naweza weka hizo pesa bwana asifiwe sana nataka nikwambie hivyo hivyo siku ya leo leo nikipata bilioni moja nitaigawa within two hours hata sitamaliza sasa hata two hours mingi bilioni moja mimi nitaigawa na dakika kumi. nikwambie imeisha nikuulize kama uko na zingine za kuongezea lakini kuna mtu akipata bilioni moja itamuharibu kichwa. Itamuondoa katika mapenzi ya Bwana. Kwa sababu gani? Hana mission inayohitaji bilioni moja. So kuna vitu Mungu hata kupatia. Kuna neema Mungu hata kupatia. Kuna upako Mungu hata kupatia. Kuna kibari Mungu hata kupatia because anajua akikupatia ni kukuharibu. Praise the name of the living God because that is a mission uliyo nayo haina uwezo wa kubeba such resources praise the name of the living God na kwa hivyo wapendwa ningetaka nikwambie siku ya leo nasikia roho wa Mungu akiuliza hii swali what is your mission in life praise the name of the living God amen hallelujah can you be able to define your business with your life hii maisha ambayo Mungu amekupatia unataka kuyafanyia nini unataka kutimiza nini na maisha yako kuna watu wanaishi tu and i say the greatest tra- tragedy in this life is not death but life without a purpose kuna mtu maisha yake haina mpango haina kusudi na hata kama ako na kusudi niamuke, nifanye kazi, nipate mshahara mwingine, hivyo hivyo hana lengo. Ambaro, do you know that your mission can attract God? Praise the name of the living God to come and partner with you. Because your mission in life should be greater than yourself. Bwana asifiwe sana. I repeat again uh, that your mission in life uh, should be greater than yourself when i talk about yourself it's bigger than all that you are and all that you have praise the name of the living god and that is how we attract divine resources we attract divine resources because god can see our mission and because god can see our mission He comes uh, to help us uh, to support us. Mimi hata kanisani ni nimejifundisha ya kwamba hauna haja ya kuambia watu kila wakati toeni sadaka, toeni fungu la kumi, toeni dhabihu zenu, ha? Biblia inasema ukitoa utabarikiwa. Watu wanajua. Ha? Mimi nimejifundisha ya kwamba ambia watu mission yako ni gani? There are people who will always identify with your mission. Waambie my mission is to build a prayer mountain. My mission is to do evangelism. My mission is to do this when you tell people your mission because I say that a, a mission is an important assignment given to a person or a group of people. 
Once you share your mission, there are people who are going to identify with that mission. And that is why you don't even to condemn uh, 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 people or ministries. Uh, kuna, kuna makanisa ambayo, their mission ni kupanda makanisa katika miji and to reach out to the elite. Wao wanatakanga watu ambao wamesoma, wanataka kufikia watu wakubwa wa serikalini, na hiyo ndiyo mission yao. Na usi wahukumu useme ya kwamba hawa hawatakangi kuhubiria masikini. Ni mission ile Mungu amewapatia. Kwa sababu wamejua once you open churches in cities and you reach you reach out to the rich people uh, and senior people they are influencers. They can influence the rest of the community. They are the policy makers. They are the ones who carry the resources. So once you reach out to them, it becomes very easy, praise the name of the living God, to transform a community. Praise the name of the living God. Because they are also the influencers of culture. Hallelujah. Na ukiangalia maisha ya mtu kama Paul. Paul ni mtu hata kama alikuwa ametumwa kwa Gentiles, alikuwa Mungu anamtuma kwa wafalme na kwa miji mikubwa. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Na kila wakati Mungu amemwambia wewe hautauawa kwa sababu nataka nikupeleke kwa mfalme fulani, nataka nikupeleke kwa muji fulani. Jina Bwana ipewe sifa. So ni vizuri ku define your mission. Ni nini hiyo unataka kufikia? Ni nini hiyo Mungu amekuita katika maisha haya ukaweze kufanya? Wacha kujanganyikiwa. Wacha kukubali huduma yako ichanganyikiwe. You are not a copy and paste. Ha? Siwezi kubadisha maono Mungu amenipatia kwa sababu wengine wanafanya hivi na mimi ni sema nitafanya kama wao. Lazima nierewe because my mission is designed in heaven. The Bible says in, in, in Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 10, we are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works. Give us that in New King James Version. Look at this. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. So the work we are supposed to do was prepared beforehand. Let's read the same in New Living Translation. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the things he planned for us long ago. So your assignment, your mission, ilipangwa kabra haujazaliwa ndipo sa Mungu anamzungumzia Jeremiah anamwambia ewe Jeremiah ni mimi nalikuita uwe nabii katika mataifa before you were formed in your mother's womb i set you apart to be a prophet to the nations praise the name of the living god hallelujah and so it is very important to understand that your mission was designed in heaven and you are wired huh? for that very mission Praise the name of the living God. Vile Mungu amenitengeneza. Alinitengeneza akijua kazi nitakayofanya. Ametengeneza my passion, my desire in a certain way with a certain inclination. Ya kwamba kuna mambo if I align myself with God. Ha? Kuna mambo nisipoyaona sitatosheka. Sitakuwa na furaha. Sitasikia kama nimefika. Wengine wanaweza kusikia wametosheka lakini vile nimetengenezwa nimetengenezwa nikaweze kuachiva mambo fulani praise the name of the living god like me my passion and my desire from when i gave my life to christ because i gave my life to christ when i was alone mimi nilikuwa ninaangalia bingu naangalia dunia ninasikia mungu aliyeuba hii bingu na dunia ananiita ananiambia utanifananisha na nini si ukuje unitumikie i was not a church goer so mimi si kuokoka katika msingi wa dini yoyote ama kanisa yoyote 
yes, I used to go uh, to the church in my early childhood. Wakati tulikuwa tunaenda Sunday school na wazazi. Lakini wakati nilikuwa mtu mkubwa nikawachana na kanisa. Lakini wakati nilikuwa nasikia sauti inaniambia Joe nitumikie mimi ndiye Mungu muumba wa bingu na inchi naangalia creation naona ukuu wa Mungu so wakati mimi nimpa Yesu maisha yangu mimi sikumpatia katika msingi wa dini mimi nilimpatia maisha yangu nikijua kwamba there is a God who created the heavens and the earth and my passion was to know him My desire even today our mission statement is to be able to know him and to make him known praise the name of the living god tukajue huyu mungu mkubwa ambaye aliumba bingu na nchi na tukamfanye ajulikane vile alivyo praise the name of the living god that is why hatuwezi kukubalia roho ya dini tutawale tunaikataa katika jina la Yesu Kristo Praise the name of the living God. Lazima tutawaliwe na mapenzi ya Mungu, tukaweze kumchua katika ukuu wake na tukaweze kumfanya ajulikane katika huo ukuu. Jina la Bwana lipewe sifa. That was the passion of David. David when you read the book of Psalms 132. Bibi inasema ya kwamba Daudi hata wakati alipofanyika mfalme, praise the name of the living God. Haleluya alipofanyika mfalme alikuwa bado ako na passion ya kumjua huyo Mungu Psalms 132 the Bible says uh, concerning David the Bible says oh Lord uh, remember David uh, and all the hardships he endured he swore an oath uh, to the Lord uh, and made uh, a vow to, ma- to, to the mighty one of Jacob I will not enter my house uh, or go to my bed au arau no sleeper to my eyes no slumber to my eyelids till i find a, a place for the lord a dwelling for the mighty one of jacob huyu ni daudi amefanyika mfalme amekuwa katika hali ya kukimbizwa na maadui na adui yake mkubwa Saul sasa amekufa lakini daudi hata alipofanyika mfalme hakutosheka Alisema sitaingia kwa nyumba yangu sitapatia kope za macho yangu singizi paka nikaweze kumtafutia bwana mahali why because the bible says uh, in the time of sora the ark of the covenant was neglected yes there was worship but it was just a religious worship david desired to see the glory of god praise the name of the living god so even when he became a king He felt uh, my mission cannot uh, be complete uh, without seeing uh, the ark of the covenant restored back. Praise the name of the living God. Na kuna watu katika maisha because of their mission hata ukiwapatia mali, hata ukiwapatia utajiri, hata ukiwapatia cheo, hawatawacha kumtafuta Mungu. Praise the name of the living God. Kwa sababu mission yao Praise the name of the living God is greater kuliko cheo kuliko mali kuliko vitu vingine vyote unaweza kuwapatia that is why it is important for us to define our mission in life na Mungu aone kabisa ya kwamba you have defined your mission ya kwamba Mungu anajua huyu hata nikimpatia mali Mali haitazima moto uliyojua maisha yake. Mali haitamfanya a backslider. Mali haitafanya aniwache. Unajua wakati Saul alimwacha Mungu. Bibi nasema ya kwamba Mungu alienda aka confide. Unajua kuna watu Mungu ana confide kwao. Mungu akihuzunishwa na jambo, anaenda ana confide. Akaenda aka confide kwa Samueli akamwambia Samueli ninahuzunika kwa nini nilimfanya Saul kuwa mfalme Praise the name of the living God that is God confiding in Samuel Bibi nasema ya kwamba naye Samueli alilia the whole night Mungu akamwambia Samueli when this man was small in his own eyes I made him to be a king Sasa ona amekuwa mkubwa sana 
ya kwamba hawezi kunitii jina bwana ipewe sifa na kwa sababu Samuel ndiye alikutana na Saul akitafuta punda za baba yake Kish anakumbuka vile Saul alikuwa ameparara anakumbuka vile Saul alikuwa amesota unajua Saul alikuwa amesota sana paka wakati walienda kwa Samuel aliuliza mtumishi wake kama umebakisha kitu cha kutolea nabii so hata wakati walienda kwa nabii aliambia his servant tafadhali tolea nabii ile kitu ume, tuli, tulikubaliana umebakisha so Saul hata hakuwa na kitu ya kutoa hakuwa na ofari praise the name of the living god so wakati Samuel anaangalia hiyo picha ya Saul akiwa ameparara amechoka amesota na nidia huyu sasa baada ya kuinuliwa amebadilika Anaka, anakataa kumtii Mungu Samuel alilia usiku mzima Praise the name of the living God What is your mission in life Praise the name of the living God Je kuna mambo yanaweza kuja ya kubadilishe katika maisha yako Unajua kuna wengi wamebadilika kwa sababu their mission was not defined That is why mimi huwa nasema siwezi kutosheka na kanisa kubwa because my mission sio kanisa kubwa my mission is God I desire to see the glory of God Praise the name of the living God Mimi hata sijali kama watu wakubwa watakuja Mimi nataka watu ambao they can cry to God they can humble they can kneel down Praise the name of the living God So kama mission ya kanisa zingine pengine kuna ministers imeitwa kufikia the right ha maempi wa kuja kanisani watu wakubwa wa kuja kanisani vizuri lakini mimi nataka wakikuja wakuje wale wako tayari kunyenyekea kwa sababu tutaomba Mungu atashuka na utashuka kwa kiti bila kujua jina bwana ipewe sifa ninakumbuka wakati moja nilienda mission kule mizuri ni US na wakati nilienda pale um, nikiwa kwa ndege Mungu akanizungumzia ya kwamba ukienda pale ongea juu ya my presence so the conference was three days na those three days nikaongea juu ya uwepo wa Mungu and i remember from the first day wachungaji wangetokea kwa madhabahu wanarara chini katika uwepo wa Mungu praise the name of the living god hallelujah kila moja angesikia kunyenyekea mbele ya huyu Mungu wakati tulimaliza The that day dada moja who is a college uh, professor she was a lecturer akakuja kwetu kutuona mahali ambapo tulikuwa akatuambia mimi kutoka siku ya kwanza nilikuwa katika huo mkutano na kaa pale nyuma mimi nilikuwa nafikiria ati ya kwamba watu ndio waanguke huwa wanasukumwa lakini mimi from the first day nilikuwa nakalia kiti nasikia ninaondolewa kwa kiti ninawekwa chini Ninalia narudi kwa kiti tena ninatolewa hizi siku tatu sijaweza kukaa kwa kiti Praise the name of the living God akasema vile amebadilishwa akasema vile anasikia amejawa na furaha ambayo haina kipimo Praise the name of the living God Hey that is my mission I desire to see the glory of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus I desire to see greater manifestation in the mighty name of Jesus that the whole world can witness the power of God the glory of God in the mighty name of Jesus Hey what is your mission in this life Praise the name of the living God It is important uh, for you to define uh, your mission. You know when you define your mission inakusaidia hata kuchagua kanisa ambao unaweza enda because utaenda kwa kanisa ambalo linakubaliana na kile wewe unasikia Mungu ameweka ndani yako. Na mimi ukutana na watu wakati unasikia mtu anasema si, sitosheki kwa hii kanisa, sitosheki kwa hii kanisa usiwaraumu kuna kitu anatafuta Praise the name of the living God. Hata mwingine akikuja katika hii kanisa na aseme hatosheki na hii. Unamwachilia kwa amani. Hauwezi kumforce akae hapa kama amesikia there is no alignment na mission yake. Lazima tuombe Mungu atuletee watu 
ambao wako na the same spiritual DNA. I've not been called for everyone. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. We give you praise, O God. We give you praise, O God. We give you the glory. The Bible says in the book of Galatians, chapter 2 and verse 8, Paul was an apostle and Peter was an apostle. But the Bible says, for God who was at work in the ministry of Peter as an apostle to the Jews, was also at work in my ministry as an apostle to the Gentiles. These are two apostles. But one is an apostle to the Jews. And another one is an apostle to the Gentiles. Praise the name of the living God. Kumbuka hata wakati wa kwanza Petro kwenda kuhubiria Gentiles. Alikuwa na shida wakati alitumwa katika nyumba ya Cornelio. Alikuwa na bishana na Mungu. Lakini Mungu akamwambia enda. Jina la Bwana nipewe sifa. Kumbuka Paul alikuwa na a strong desire for his own people the Israelites. Lakini hakuwa ametumwa kwao. Alikuwa Mungu amemchagua aende kwa Gentiles na kila wakati angeenda kwao angepigwa. Hmm? Angekuwa persecuted. Praise the name of the living God. So ni vizuri hata kujua Mungu amekutuma wapi? Ni nini hiyo Mungu amekuitia ili ukaweze kutimiza? Wengine tunaweza taka public ministry. Lakini pengine ministry yetu or, or our mission is not public. Tutafanya kazi yetu bila kujulikana, bila kuonekana. Kuna watu wawili ambao ninaangalia katika kitabu cha Luka. They were great intercessors and they were to intercede until the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Their name was Simeon and Anna, who was a widow. Mungu alikuwa mewaweka waombe mpaka Yesu akaweze kuzaliwa na wa invest maombi ya kwamba hata akizaliwa Herode hataweza kumuua. Yale maombi yali preserve Yesu yalikuwa yameombwa hata kabla hajazaliwa in the book of Luke chapter 2 from verse 25 uh, we can be able to see these two people the bible says uh, now there was a man in Jerusalem called uh, Simeon who was righteous and devout he was waiting for the consolation of Israel and the holy spirit was upon him look at this it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not die before he had seen the Lord's Christ. Alikuwa na ufunuo ya kwamba ye hata kufa mpaka akaweze kumuona Yesu Christo. And then verse 27, moved by the Spirit, he went into the temple court when the parents brought in the child Jesus uh, to do for him uh, what the custom of the law required. Simeon took him uh, in his arms uh, and praised God, uh, saying, Sovereign Lord, uh, as you have promised, uh, you now dismiss your servant in peace. For my eyes uh, have seen uh, your salvation, which uh, you have prepared uh, in the sight uh, of all the people. A writer for liberation to the Gentiles and for the glory to your people, Islam. The child's father and mother marveled at what was said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, This child is destined to cause the falling and the unrising of many in Israel and to be a sign that will be spoken against, so that the thoughts of many hearts will be revealed. And a sword will pierce your own soul too. There also, look at the second one. There also was a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Fanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was very old. She had lived with her husband seven years after her marriage. And then was a widow until she was 84 years. She never left the temple, but worshipped night and day. Fasting and praying. What was she praying for? 
coming to the temple at the very moment, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who are looking forward to the redemption of Jerusalem. When Joseph and Mary had done everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. What is your mission in this life? Uh, Simeon uh, understood his mission. Uh, na alikuwa najua mimi sita kufa. Kuna kitu ambacho razima nione katika maisha yangu. Mpendwa pengine uko mahali ambapo unakaa ni kama huwezi kuwa a kingdom financial. Lakini wewe hauta kufa paka usimamishe makusudi ya bwana. Unakaa mahali ya uonekani hata kama unaweza kuhubiri. Lakini wewe utatembea kwa ishara na miujiza. Praise the name of the living God. Na hauta kufa kabra haujaona matendo ya ukuwa bwana kupitia maisha yako. For that is your mission in this life. Praise the name of the living God. And that is why you must continue to be a fighter. You must continue to be a warrior in the mighty name of Jesus. Because the devil does not fight success. He fights potential. Anaona begu ya mungu daniyako. Anaona your mission. Anaona your assignment that you are a deliverer in your family. The Bible says that saviors will come from Mount Zion. Anaona you are a savior to your community team. You are a savior in your generation. Amejaribu binu nyingi za kukuua, but I declare you shall not die. Praise the name of the living God until you declare the praises of the most high God in the mighty name of Jesus. May God preserve you because of your mission. Let me tell you, you have been given divine protection because of your assignment. Kuna ulinzi umepatiwa wabingu kwa sababu ya makusudi ya buwana ambayo Bwana amekuaminia wengine ungekuwa umeuawa wengine ungekuwa umetupiwa mishale ya magonjwa hili adui ya kumalize nguvu lakini kwa hapa nitangaze haitawezekana you must accomplish your mission in the mighty name of Jesus haya mamana on a mission in the mighty name of Jesus watumwe makuhani wa giza kutoka kuzimu watapata ninawaka moto hawata ni maliza Hawata ni zuiria in the mighty name of Jesus uh, mipango yote ya kuzimu hakuna sira itakayo inuriwa kinyume na maisha yangu itakayo fanikiwa because I am a man on a mission uh, in the mighty name uh, of Jesus uh, and God uh, is going uh, to preserve uh, my life uh, because uh, of my mission uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, receive uh, divine Divine preservation because of your mission in the mighty name of Jesus. 